it almost makes me cry like when I'm touching my skin like this because it's so smooth. Hola amigos and welcome to today's video. So today I'm doing something I wish I could have done a long time ago but I couldn't because my skin was very bad. So finally the time has come at the age of 24. I finally have clear skin and you have no idea how long I've waited or maybe you have because it, it was basically since the age of 11 until the age of 24 you do the math how long I've struggled with acne <coughs> and finally I don't have it anymore obviously it's not always like perfect and it's not perfect right now either but it's as perfect as it, as it could be. I have no more acne. You can see no more acne on my face. The only thing you can see on my face now is acne scarring. I didn't think this would ever happen. So I was like, I have to make a video on how this happened because I can't believe that it has happened. And I really hope that this video will not like put some bad juju on my face and then all of a sudden I get acne after uploading this video. And then in the next video you will see me with acne and you will be like, you said you don't have it anymore. I do not know guys. So I will show you guys my routine on how I did it. So let's get started. I should emphasize that I did get a facial around a month ago, which is the reason why my skin got clear in the first place. It was very painful because they, you know, extract your acne and your blackheads and whiteheads and all that stuff. And after that, my skin got really bad. You could see it in the vlogs, like my skin was horrible. I will show clips right now. My skin was the, the worst it has ever been since puberty. But then after around two weeks, so like two weeks ago, suddenly it got more clear but still not as perfect as I wanted it to be. And that is the time I realized that I need to buy products that are soap free, more like for sensitive skin, more for hydration, instead of buying products that are for acne skin. Because products that are for acne skin usually gives me more acne because it makes my skin dry and then it gives me acne for some for some reason I definitely recommend you guys to get a facial at least like four times a year I will try to get facials as often as I possibly can because they give me a better skin like even when I was in high school I got a facial and my skin was so much better after that and it lasted for months and my classmates were very confused as why my skin all of a sudden got clear because they knew that my skin wasn't clear like before that I looked like really bad <laughs> and my confidence like it went off the roof because all of a sudden my skin was clear so this has happened to me before after getting a facial so facials is a must for at least for my skin type it's very painful if you have a lot of blackheads and, and acne and stuff but it's worth it and here in the Philippines it's not that expensive it was 2,000 pesos or 1,000 pesos something and that is it's a bit expensive but if you think about it you wear your skin every day so if you're going to go out and buy like clothing a dress for like 2,000 pesos or you know I don't know how many dollars that is <laughs> then why not treat your skin as if it's clothing you wear it every day anyways let's get started with what I do every day to keep my skin clear after getting facials especially so let's start with the morning routine so guys for the sake of this video I'm not going to go in the bathroom because the light is horrible so I will stay in the kitchen and you can also see better here like what my skin looks like so as you can see there's no acne on my skin it looks as clear as it ever could I have some acne scarring there acne scarring there acne scarring there but it's not that obvious anymore so yeah this is what my skin looks like close up no more acne okay anyways I start the day with this skin perfect and I got this at the dermatologist when I got my facial and they gave me this so I could treat my skin after getting a facial to make sure it will be as perfect as it could be so I'm using this but I, after this is done I will buy a soap free cleanser so I will just wet my face first and I pump one pump and I just rub it around my whole face like this look like Santa Claus 
So this is one of the biggest reasons I feel like my skin has also gotten better. It has gotten smoother because of this. This is a skin cleansing pad. And as you can see, it has tiny bristles. You use this instead of a scrub because I realized that my skin it's too sensitive for scrubs and the ther dermatologist also told me that my skin is too sensitive for scrubs so she told me to just use my fingers but I saw this in Watson's in SM and it is incredible guys I 100% recommend you guys to get this because it has made my skin very very smooth so what I do is just I just rub it in circular motions around my whole face and this is good for you know removing all those dead skins gently and because scrubs are very very invasive abrasive what's the word most people can handle it but my skin just can't and if you have like any wrinkles or anything like that like I have these two lines going down here as you can see I don't know if you can see uh, because of the way I express express my face like I always go like that and so it creates two lines there and you can't always see it it depends on the light but I make sure to scrub more here because when you use scrub in the areas where you have like wrinkles or lines expression lines then it will produce more collagen or something like that I don't remember I'm not a dermatologist but it makes you know it, it I don't remember the word guys but it does something to your skin <laughs> to make it like more active and produce more like good skin cells I don't know and this cleansing pad guys I make sure to clean it every day with soap because obviously you don't want it to get dirty and the reason why this is better than bristles is because bristles you know those electric bristles they contain a lot of bacteria and you do not want to put bacteria on your face over and over again because those bristles you can see like they are wet for a long time really easily because they are so like compact but with silicone brushes they dry really quickly so there's no bacteria on them and you could boil these to make sure there's really no bacteria and I just wash my face all right and then I just dry my face and make sure to just pat guys don't rub it like that because it can be very harsh on your skin so I just make sure to pat it so next thing I do is I use my thank you very much for that noise the next thing I use is the skin it's the skin it's the Skin Perfect Complexion Clearing Okay guys, please don't mind that noise, I'm so sorry The Skin Perfect Complexion Clarifying Toner And I got this from the Skin Perfect uh, Dermatologist as well Just take a cotton ball and I pour some on it And then what I do is I just carefully rub it around my face in circular motions like this and I recommend you guys to get toners that are alcohol free and very like on the natural side and not drying because I I had to stop using toners because they were so drying for my face this one is good though and the soap free ones are I mean the alcohol free ones are really good as well and I also put this down my neck and down here in my chest because I have some acne around my chest uh, but it's less now after using all of those products. Last steps for the morning is the Pond's White Beauty. And I have two here. I have this one which is just a sample one. White Beauty Normal Skin Day Cream. And then over here I have the one with SPF Protection SPF 15 Day Cream. Spotless Rosy White Pond's. And I did not want to use this but my grandma bought this the other day i was like maybe i should just try it after i use this guys this is when my acne scarring started to fade and i'm not joking like this is probably the best product i've used on my face ever it has made my skin incredibly smooth incredibly like clear because it's it was only after i started using the pond's white beauty that my skin started to get lighter on the acne scarring now this usually people usually use this to get more fair skin and i use that much and i don't use it to become like fairer fairer i don't use it to look more like 
white <laughs> a lot of people use it because they want to look more caucasian and i don't use it for that purpose i use it to clear my acne scarring and i can 100 percent sure it has helped like by a lot and my skin did not used to be like this clear and the acne scarring used to take a long long time before it would fade but since i've used this it's fading really really quickly and it almost makes me cry like when I'm touching my skin like this because it's so smooth and I know a lot of you know youtubers they exaggerate a lot like oh my skin is so smooth now it used to be so bad and stuff like to promote products they do that but I'm not sponsored guys by any products in this video and I'm just 100% honest with you guys and I recommend you guys to get the pumps because if you have acne scarring like me and acne you should use this and it does make your skin a bit fairer it's not a word it makes your skin lighter uh, all over like I feel like I've become a, a, a shade uh, whiter do you say whiter can you say whiter is that okay or what i don't know um, i feel like I've i also put it down my neck of course i feel like my skin has become like more white um, i don't mind it uh, but i also don't like care about it i'm fine with being uh, you know having darker skin and stuff and it doesn't match my like body skin anymore if you look at it like my face is like a bit like a ghost in this video I feel like this is probably 80% of the reason why my skin got clear let's move on to the night routine so let's pretend it's nighttime now so the first thing I do at night is I put on the skin perfect wash face wash again and I rub it again with a silicone pad and then I use the skin perfect acne erase solution so this is for the night time again just pour some on the cotton bud or on the why do i always say cotton bud i mean on the cotton ball cotton ball challenge oh, you guys remember that one really old school okay and then i just put this all over my face like this circular motions again for a night I use the Cetaphil eczema calming body moisturizer but this one you could use it for your face as well it is steroid free paraben free fragrance free uh, it's even safe for babies above three months uh, so this one is very good for very sensitive skin which I have my skin used to be very dry it's not dry anymore but it used to be dry for the past like year or so for some reason it became really really dry and I couldn't understand why but after using that one it solved my dry issue it used to be so dry here and here because of the water here in Chargao the water here in Chargao in our house it's a bit harsh on my skin and I got like eczema all over my body the Cetaphil guys is the only thing that cured my eczema the only thing that cured my face rashes so I use this at night because at night you should use something that is more moisturizing so that it will you know get into your skin the whole night and when you wake up you will have smooth skin when I wake up my skin is usually very very oily it's like extremely oily uh, but that's okay because at least it's not dry anymore and then throughout the day it's not really that oily my skin is just like normal now and like I even make sure to moisturize my eyebrows I've read some people say it's not good to moisturize your eyebrows but my eyebrows get like the skin under it gets really 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 dry the Cetaphil is it's a lifesaver it's the only thing that helped me and also bring it down to your neck guys the neck is one of the first things that will show the sign of aging my mom said so make sure to moisturize your neck if you don't want to look old <laughs> so that is basically my skincare routine but there's a twist so that's what I do for the morning and night but what else do I do you may may ask I used to do facial masks every week so I used to use the charcoal face facial masks where you put it on your skin and it gets really really dry and then you wash it off and then your skin feels super super smooth but 
that my skin used to feel very dry after that because it basically sucks all of the oil out of your skin so I stopped doing that and then I started using peel peel off mask I'm sorry I'm just like you know patting the sweat away <laughs> and then I started using peel off masks which were like charcoal peel off masks and they were great to remove you know blackheads and whiteheads and stuff like that and dead skin cells it would help it a lot and it became it became really smooth but it also became really dry because of that because again it removes your oil no bueno i discovered that if you use facial sheet masks those are meant to be for people with dry skin uh, even if you have oily skin and you have dry spots dry patches use this use facial sheet masks that are for hydrating your skin moisturizing your skin this one is my new favorite it is the Watson facial mask radiant and moisturizing it has aloe vera juice aloe vera is one of the best things you could use for your face perfect for acne you just put this on like that Ooh, that's scary like so and then you remove the top layer <laughs> looks like my face is like falling off and then I just like rub it around adjust it and I usually do this guys when I'm going to bed so what I do is at the end of the day once a week I after I've you know done everything brushed my teeth and all that I lay in bed and I put this on and then I lay in bed and I just close my eyes put the alarm on for 30 minutes close my eyes and just relax take a nap and after 20 to 30 minutes I wake up and I remove the mask and then I just sleep if you do it before bed like exactly before bed and then you go to bed like right after when I wake up my skin feels like a baby's butt tell me down below what is your favorite skincare product tell me what you think about my skincare product do you think it's a bit crazy or is it normal I don't know I will talk to you guys next week make sure to check out my channel Aria Bill to see vlogs and mukbangs go down below and subscribe to this channel I think be free turn on the post notifications so you guys know when I upload a new video thank you so much guys thanks for watching gracias por ver I will see you guys next week adios amigos